This video is sponsored by Aura. The highest paying engineering career tier list. You guys asked for it. I ranked it, let's do this. In this video, we are gonna be ranking different engineering related careers from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And if you like videos like this, go ahead, gently tap that like button to let me know, and also share with a friend because I don't have some giant marketing department like all the universities do. I'm just one guy making some videos. So with that being said, let's jump right into it with one of the most highly requested uh, engineering degrees and engineering careers, which is mechatronics engineering. So in this video, I am going to be focusing on pay because pretty much everything else when it comes to careers is really subjective. I will talk about a few other things, but I'm going to keep it relatively brief because I want to keep this video short. Unfortunately, you can't really explain stuff in detail and also have a short video. But with that being said, mechatronics engineers make around $90,000 a year. That's pretty good, but it's actually on the lower side for engineering related careers. Now it does make sense. Mechatronics engineering is a relatively new career. It does have a pretty promising future though I would say this is kind of a dark horse candidate five or ten years down the line this one might make it into S tier but for this video I'm gonna have to put it into B tier next one on the list is going to be aerospace engineering and this one has enough people in it that it actually made it onto BLS the Bureau of Labor Statistics and according to BLS they make about one hundred and twenty two thousand dollars a year and it's growing at eight percent which is as fast as average now the numbers between Glassdoor and BLS can vary by sometimes five to ten thousand or so but they're usually relatively close but it is very clear that aerospace engineers make amazing money this one is going to go into s tier next one on the list is going to be mechanical engineers now the good thing about mechanical engineering is it's very flexible so if you get the mechanical engineering degree there's a lot of different career paths you can go into but if you choose to be a mechanical engineer you can expect to make around ninety-five thousand dollars a year and it's growing at seven percent which is as fast as average now compared to all other careers this this is amazing but when you're talking about engineering careers this is actually just you know pretty good and so for that reason this one is going to go into B tier now one thing I mentioned is how if you get a mechanical engineering degree there's a ton of different career paths you can go down and one of them that's actually relatively common that a lot of people don't know about is finance so many finance companies have a strategy for hiring where they just basically try to get the smartest possible people regardless of what their major is, and then they teach them the finance side of things. So a lot of the time they'll hire physics, math, and engineering majors. And there's many different finance jobs that you can go for, but it's well known that the finance industry has a ton of money, especially if you're kind of like an A-type, really driven personality. Finance might actually be the number one industry when it comes to making a very, very good salary. So with that being said, finance definitely makes it into S tier. There's a ton of different career paths you can go down, uh, which we don't have time to cover in this video and there's especially a lot of opportunity if you go into what's known as fintech which is basically finance mixed with technology there's a lot of really promising startups in fintech speaking of fintech do you know what the fastest growing crime affecting millions of people in america is well the answer is identity theft and there's a new victim every 14 seconds a few years ago my roommate had his identity stolen not once but twice and it completely turned his life upside down and that's why i'm excited to partner with today's sponsor aura aura is identity theft protection fraud monitoring a vpn password management and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app now you might have one of these services already already but if you don't have all the tools it's like locking the front door but leaving the back door wide open and those who have their identity stolen are often shocked when it happens imagine trying to log into your email account one day only to see the password has changed hours ago and then you start getting notifications of activity from your bank credit cards crypto accounts etc it's scary and unfortunately the reality for too many people thankfully aura monitors the dark web for your emails passwords and social security numbers and sends alerts fast right to your phone and email I actually use aura and when I enter my email into Aura, they monitored the dark web and found that my email and password had been exposed once. And when it comes to fraud, every second matters. You can connect your credit card and bank accounts and get notified of any changes up to four times faster than Aura's competitors. Aura's VPN allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your browsing history and personal information safe and encrypted. Protect yourself and your family from identity theft at www.aura.com slash Shane Hummus. And if you sign up right now at aura.com slash Shane Hummus, Aura will give you a two week trial so you can see if either you or your family's information has been exposed to the dark web. And I'm actually curious how many people watching this video have had their information exposed to the dark web. So if you do decide to sign up, comment that down below. And thank you again to Aura for sponsoring this video. 
Next on the list, we have technology careers. And it is very common for people who graduate with engineering degrees to go into technology. Very, very common. And technically, you know, software engineer is a type of engineer as well. Even though in some countries, you know, software engineering and computer science are essentially the same degree, in the US, they are actually different. And there's also a lot of blurred lines between being a software developer and a software engineer. But there is a ton of opportunity in technology. A lot of people become software developers, software engineers. Engineers, they go into data science, etc. There is a ton of different options out there for you. And so technology related careers, again, don't have time to go over all of them, but they are going to go into S tier. Now, another really interesting thing about engineering degrees is it's actually the most common type of degree for people who go on to become either CEOs or successful founders of startups. And that totally makes sense because engineering is basically practical problem solving and that's what entrepreneurship is as well. So it is very common for people to go into engineering and then become entrepreneurs later on down the line. And what you can make here ranges widely all the way from like 70,000 a year to $100 billion a year if you're Elon Musk. So yeah, this one definitely is gonna go into S tier, although it's not everybody's cup of tea. Next one on the list is going to be a special one. It's technically software related, but I wanted to include it on this list because I really like it, and that is security engineer. And this is basically exactly what it sounds like they try to keep systems safe they also monitor systems for threats they test them for bugs etc and according to Glassdoor security engineers make about hundred and thirteen thousand dollars a year so yeah this one definitely is gonna go into S tier another possible career path would be engineering manager now I've talked about this before on the channel but engineering majors who decide to go into an engineering related career actually make more money than any other type of major over a lifetime over the last 40 years about 3.5 million dollars on average and it's pretty good no matter where you go even if you go into an art related career you can still expect to make about three million dollars over a lifetime which is pretty good but the career path that makes the most over a lifetime if you get an engineering degree is going into management at 4.1 million dollars on average so becoming a manager is a really good option this one is also going to go into s tier Next one on the list is going to be a marine engineer, and they'll work on anything that's engineering related that has to do with the water. So according to BLS, marine engineers make about $93,000 a year, and there's about 9,800 jobs, and it's growing at 4%, which is slower than average. Now, the fact that 93,000 a year is on the lower side, and then on top of that, it's growing slower than average, makes me have to put this one in a lower tier. Now, again, this is really good compared to all different careers out there, but for engineering careers, this one is gonna go into C tier. Next on the list is going to be chemical engineering. And they use chemistry to create products and solve problems. And you find a lot of chemical engineers in industries like fuel, food, drugs, and chemicals. Now, according to BLS, chemical engineers make about $105,000 a year. There's 26,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 9%, which is as fast as average. So overall, pretty good numbers here. It doesn't pop off the charts, so I'm gonna put this one into A tier. Next on the list is going to be civil engineering, and you would go into the career of civil engineering. So civil engineers help to design the infrastructure of cities. And if you've ever been in a city that has really bad infrastructure, like cities where, you know, at certain times of the day, it has ridiculous amounts of traffic, you will know why civil engineering is important. Their designs help to make your city both efficient, but also safe. So civil engineers can expect to make about $88,000 a year. There's 309,000 jobs, which is really good, and it's growing at 8%, which is as fast as average. So the pay here is quite a bit lower than a lot of the other engineering-related careers on the list. However, there is a lot of jobs, so it kind of balances itself out. It's one of the lowest paying, but there's a lot of jobs. So this one I would put maybe into high C tier, low B tier. Mm, just on this list, I'm gonna have to put this one into C tier. Eh, I'll go ahead and be nice and put it into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be electrical engineering. I think this one kind of goes without saying what electrical engineers do. And according to BLS, electrical and electronics engineers make about $101,000 a year. There's 313,000 jobs available, which is phenomenal. And it's growing at 7%, which is as fast as average. So the combination of pretty good pay, it's over six figures. And then on top of that, there's a lot of jobs available. And this is one of the most flexible 
uh, engineering related skill sets. This one is definitely going into S tier. Next on the list is going to be a production manager type role. And it's basically somebody who does a little bit of logistics and they also make sure the facility that they're working in is efficient, but it's also safe. So industrial production managers, you do see quite a bit of engineers going into this role and they make about $103,000 a year. There's 189,000 jobs available. So, you know, pretty good. And it's also growing at 5%, which is a little slower than average. So overall, I'll put this one into A tier. Next on the list is going to be a petroleum engineer. And I think it's pretty obvious obvious and self-explanatory what they do. This is actually the highest paying degree, period. Let's not argue about it. Let's go study it. Right? So if you get a petroleum engineering degree, it's the highest paying one. And if you go into petroleum engineering, you can expect to make about $130,000 per year. There's 28,000 jobs available and it's growing at 8%, which is as fast as average. So not a whole lot of jobs available. The natural gas industry also fluctuates quite a bit depending on you know, all type of different geopolitical factors. So it's not always the most stable industry for you to go into. But with that being said, this is the highest paying degree period, uh, very high paying career as well. So I'm gonna have to put this one into S tier. Next one on the list is a really cool one, and that is sales engineer. Sales engineers do all kinds of different things, but one of the main things is they help to advise their clients about what parts they're going to need in order to keep their operations running smoothly. And as a sales engineer, you can expect to make about $103,000 on average. There's 63,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 8%, which is as fast as average. A very closely related one that you see on Glassdoor is field sales engineer, and they make about $107,000 on average. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. Um, I'm pretty bullish on this one in the future as well. I could see this one being even higher, but for now, I'll go ahead and put it into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be biomedical engineer. And this is one that I personally think is really cool because it combines kind of an engineering skill set with a medical skill set. And I do see this one being good possibly in the future, depending on a bunch of things that are totally outside of our control or prediction. But unfortunately, this one only pays about $80,000 a year, according to Glassdoor, which is one of the lowest on the list. And because of that, I actually have to put this one into F tier. But like I said, this one could be really good in the future. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on when it comes to biomedical science and biomedical engineering. Next one on the list is going to be nuclear engineer. Now this is a type of engineer that works with everything related to nuclear power. And anything that's related to the energy industry is dependent on a bunch of factors that are completely outside of our control. And in many cases, they are artificial. So it could be that 50 years from now, nuclear engineers are the best energy related engineer, or it could be that for some reason, you know, politicians ban nuclear engineering and you know, you don't have any jobs. I personally think that nuclear engineering is awesome. And I think that 100 years from now, it's probably going to be the number one way that we get energy. But I can't say the same thing for five or 10 years from now. But with that being said, According to BLS, they make about $120,000 a year, 17,000 jobs available, and unfortunately, the job outlook is pretty bad at negative 8% over the next 10 years. So when it comes to how much they make, and I am weighing that heavier in this list because this is like the highest paying engineering career tier list, uh, this is like almost S tier. But because of the fact that it's you know declining at negative 8%, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be environmental engineer. And this is a type of engineer that works on all things related to the environment and sustainability. Now, this is one where I could see it doing very, very well in the future. I'm pretty bullish on this one. It's kind of one of my dark horse candidates. And one of the main reasons for that, besides the fact that it's, you know, probably a pretty good idea for us to not destroy the planet. But one of the other main reasons for that is because of the fact that many countries are incentivizing businesses to be more eco-friendly. And in my opinion, that is very smart. So sustainability is an industry that is really going to be booming, in my opinion, over the next 10 to 20 years. But with that being said, right now, environmental engineers make about $85,000 a year, which is good, but not really that great for engineering related careers. So this one is gonna go into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be industrial engineer. It's another one I'm very excited about because you combine kind of like a operations management logistics type skill set with an engineering skill set. And according to BLS, they make about $95,000 a year. There is a whopping 292,000 jobs available and it's growing at 14%, which is faster than average. And on top of that, the industrial engineering related skill set does translate very easily into other types of careers related to business and technology. 
technology. So it's also a very flexible career as well. So for all those reasons, even though the career itself is a little bit low, the other things boost it up to A tier status. All right, so it was hard to rank any of these badly because engineering related careers are just really good. So honestly, when it comes to engineering related careers, I kind of just tell people to go for the one they're most passionate about. Because past a certain level, when it comes to how much money you make, you're not gonna care all that much about money, right? Below that level, you definitely care about money, but once you get past that level, it's not nearly as important and lifestyle, passion, and all those other things on Maslow's hierarchy of needs become more important to you. And if you like this video, check this video out right here. I think you're really gonna enjoy it and I will see you next time. Thank you.